All right. No, let me restart this since we had that. All right, here you go. So it's not going to tell you if you're right or wrong. It's going to tell everybody they're right. That way we can see the data. All right, I'm going to have you explain why you picked that. I didn't want to tell you you were wrong off top. How many we got? I can't remember. Nine. All right, we got nine answered. We got 20, 23 in here. No, they made an announcement that somebody pulled it. It's not. It's a false. I made the announcement. For real? As soon as we got. All right, let's go. We still need. How many more we need here? Eleven. So we still got. Eleven people haven't answered. Who hasn't answered? There we go. All right. You don't know if you're right. All right, let's talk about it. Who chose red, the triangle, wants to explain? Anybody? Jalen, why would you say that? Let me pull the image back up. What? Let me come up here and answer this question. All right. Can't hear you all. You want to explain next? Okay. Go ahead, Jalen. Talk. I pick, uh, I pick the triangle because negative four comes to right here where the dot stops, and then the arrow goes straight out, meaning it's infinity, so you don't even have to know where the point is because it just goes straight. All right. How about somebody who chose the blue one here? All right. So the blue said negative four, negative four to positive two. Ashley, you said you knew you made a mistake. What did you know? Didn't notice the arrow. Okay, so you're right. If this had been a dot, right, it would have stopped at two. So if it had been a dot, then yes, blue would have been right. But since it's an arrow, we know it's going on for infinity. Yes, agreed there? All right. Red was right in that case. All right, let's look at two. So question two here says, is the following considered a function? Red, yes, it's a function. Blue, it is not a function. Is that image considered a function? Remember the vertical line test. If we drew a vertical line, would you agree? Sixteen and sixteen and five this time. All right. So let's pull this picture back up. Safe. You get time to answer? Okay. Answered now. What would you say? Function or not a function? Not a function. Not a function. All right. Explain it. Why? Who's it first? It's not keeping score right now. It does it. It's going to on our exit slip. Go ahead, Keegan. What? Okay. So. Positive two or positive one. Anywhere here, you drew a vertical line, it's going to touch twice. All right, so remember, two touches is not a function. Like say function. Touch. A function would only touch once. Oh, I get it. All right, three. What is the range of the What is the range here? Pay attention to dots. It's an arrow, if you can't see it. What is the range here? Talking y values. Range, down and up. How did you go back? Because I needed Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
How many people here? We need three more. Three more, Bradley. How many more we got? How many people are we waiting on here? None? Never mind. All right, so let's see what we've got here. All right, so pretty even with blue and, and orange, right? Who chose orange and tell me why? Okay, why would you think they picked orange, Jalen? Well, you know, you were saying domain, and we got on here, and they probably didn't understand you when you said range, so they probably picked the same thing, meaning domain, so they went for the negative four and then uh, the infinity. So infinity. It's going. But range, on the other hand, is uh, going up and down, and uh, it would be negative four, going, like, on the line right there. Well, it would be zero right there, and then it would be going up, and where the arrow goes up, it would be infinity. So it's okay. Zero. So you understand what he's saying here. The orange one, the orange dot was talking about the domain from negative 4 to infinity. All right. The question asks you for the range, meaning up and down. So the lowest point was 0, like Jalen said, it goes up for infinity because it's an arrow. So it should have the blue one here. All right. So make sure we're paying attention to the range for this domain. All right. This one's going to ask you to find, you're finding f of 6 by using this problem. So there's, if you need a calculator, I think there's some around you. Oh, nope, somebody picked them up. All right, if you need a calculator, yes. If not, most of your phones have one. Whatever. You can do, you can do it without it. Go for it. So you're trying to find f of 6 problem. Yes, 6 is your x. So you're finding f of 6. Yeah. You can't go back? I thought you just said you could. Oh, okay. It's not a big deal. This, one, this one's not for a grade. This one's a survey. All right. Stay focused here. We're waking, or we're working on, oh, I said waking. We're working on finding F of 6. That's right, just hang on. Oh, I'm on your way. All right, about 50 seconds left on this one. Can you? All right, about 15 seconds left to make a choice here. I don't know what's the number say. We need 23. 21, so we're too short. There's a minute. All right, let's talk about it. So 15 people say orange. Okay, let's talk about orange. Let's, let's work this out. So let's put the 6 in for x. What is 6 squared? 6 times 6? Six. 36. All right, so 2 times 36 gives me 72, and then we add the 6 to it, we get 78. All right, so orange was the correct answer. So red, blue, and green, not so much this time. For f of negative two, it's going to give you the problem. All right, so you're solving f of negative two. I got this. Negative two. You're solving this problem with f of negative two. Anybody? Do you want to calculate? You want one? Yeah. Thank you. 
Sorry. All right. We're finding negative two here. Let's go. Safe. Hand it to him. Come on. Oh, sorry. Yes. The Wally thing. All right, 30 seconds left. Make a choice here. Turn it with these arrows. All right, five, four. All right, let's go back to the. All right, so we've got split on green and red, both have eight. So let's solve it together here. So negative two squared. All right, let's talk, Jalen. Neg or positive two squared. Sorry, it's negative two. Negative two squared. Which one is it? Jalen, two negatives make what? That's not a negative. That's a positive. That's a positive. Okay, so let's stop. Okay, the exponent is just saying this times itself, right? So negative two times negative two. Positive 4. All right, so positive 4 plus 2 times negative 2. And green here. Green. All right, here's what we're going to have to do. All right, so we're running out of time. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to skip this, and we're going to go to the exit slip. All right, let's do it. Um, all right, so on the back side of your paper, all right, the first three questions are talking about word problems. It's going to ask you to write the domain. What does this mean? What does that mean in everyday language? Then the next five questions are multiple choice like this. What I need you to do is only write one, two, and three out on your sheet on the back side of your paper, and then you will do the... All right, so let me go back. All right, here's the code you're putting in for the exit slip. It'll pop up here in a second. All right, put this code in. Put this code in for the exit slip. Let's go. We've got to make this quick. We're going to run out of time. 92, 16, 82. 9, 2, 1, 6, 8, 2. Put in the code. 9, 2, 8, 2. 1, 6, 8, 2. Nine two one six eight two. We've got thirteen. It means ten people are sleeping right now. Not paying attention here. You're typing in the new code. That last one's over. Ashley, does he have it? Yeah. Alright, so who does not have a green screen? Alan. 